now today i am going to talk about the cervical spinal canal stenosis we all know that canal stenosis of the cervical spine is most controversial topic however there are many methods of treating that particular entity particularly on the surgical aspects we all know about it that a cervical canal stenosis can be treated surgically both anteriorly and posteriorly anteriorly one may have to do a carpectomy and do the decompression for front however if it is there for one or two levels it is fine it is easier but if the canal stenosis at multiple level one may have to take an option of going posteriorly and operate in those situations the commonest procedure done in olden days and even today is laminectomy however now what's happening is the progressive kyphosis which follows the laminectomy or a laminoplasty is being very much keenly observed by the specialist hence we need to have a substitute to see how the kyphosis can be prevented in patients with cervical laminectomy now today we are going to discuss on one such subject and that is where this whole procedure of lateral mass fixation is going to be demonstrated to you now lateral mass fixation is the most elegant procedure which is very well established in the world it's a very elegant technique it's very easy to do provided we understand the basics and the nature of the anatomy of the particular region of cervical spine subaxial cervical spine is one of the commonest place where canal stenosis is seen whether it is opl or multiple disc prolapse or any other pathology of degenerative spine today we will demonstrate and discuss much about the lateral mass fixation technique now we go to the part 1 that is practicing in the model the bone models practice makes you perfect now every young doctor should first start practicing on the model if not cadaver cadaver practice is very difficult one we need to have a good facilities for that but the models are very easy to learn so we need to practice the techniques of lateral mass fixation in the model the reason why i say like this is because once you start feeling the model and understanding the anatomy in the very good bone model when you operate on the live surgery it is very easy so we have to take much interest to learn first in the bone model whenever workshops are conducted now i will teach you and i will go to the uh, complete demonstration of this particular technique in a saw bone model now uh, this is the cervical spine i'll show you the cervical spine and this is the anterior vertebral side this is the posterior spinal side and this is the lateral and what we see is this is the lateral mass you can see is a very thick bone this is a superior facet and this is the inferior facet as you can see when you see from posterior we don't see the superior facet we see the inferior facet and this region is the lateral mass this is the spinous process the spinous process sweeps down as the lamina and it ends at one area which has got a, a shallow region and then humps over the lateral mass now we should know when we wanted to put one screw here we should know the relations of this bone to vital structures in front now you can see here this is the this is the vertebral artery which goes through the vertebral foramen now at the same time you can see the radicle that is the the, the nerve root the cervical nerve root that comes from the spinal cord and enters through the canal here outside the canal now 
the lateral mass is anteriorly in relation to the, these two important structures. Now we should know where exactly these structures are related. When we see the vertebral artery, you can see the vertebral artery here. And I showed you already the vertebral artery is going exactly over the medial aspect of the lateral mass. So if I draw a line of the vertebral artery, the vertebral artery traverses this line like this. It traverses straight like this. This vertebral artery traverses like this. You can see very well here. Now, at the same time, now what happens to this nerve root? This nerve root glides down past like that. You can see this nerve root glides down past that nerve. You can see here. So if you put one anatomical relationship, so the vertebral artery is medial, is very much medial. You can see I can mark it here. And the nerve is going like this in front. So we don't have any major structure which is in front of this. So if we guide a screw from here in the midpoint which is the most strongest point and the hum from there and you enter through this and put a, put a drill from here and we can come anteriorly so that you come into a very safe zone and you will not injure any neurovascular structure. So hence, the midpoint of the entry of any screw is somewhere here. Now I will demonstrate some of the techniques how to put a screw from here. Now, this is the probe. You can decorticate with this. Now how to decorticate, I'll show you. So we put this is the entry point of the screw and once we decorticate then after that we have to enter the safe entry zone. The safe entry zone is directed now superiorly and laterally. You can see this direction. So your probing must be superiorly and laterally. If you put a probe like this you can see this will touch the, the spinous process of the inferior vertebra. Now this is the the probe which we can use it and you direct it superiorly and laterally we parallel to the facet joint this is the facet joint this is the facet joint you do it parallel to the facet joint it's such a hard bone and it is excellent material now once we do this, so this is the direction of the screw and then you can see here now, when I turn it here, you, you, you can see the direction of this screw direction superiorly presented. Now I show you here in front, it does not affect any nerves and the vertebral artery is far away. You can see very well the vertebral artery is far away. So when the screw is placed here, it will not affect the neurovascular bundle. A tapping can be done using a 3.5 mm tap. You can see here now the same picture. You can select any polyaxis screw here. You can select one of the polyaxis screws and then drive it down in the same direction. You can see this polyaxis screw, it places now just on the lateral mass. So this is the lateral mass fixation technique. You can see here, and this screw hub comes with the bicortical purchase. So by this way, we can put the screws in all the lateral mass and then connect with a rod which can be placed on top and then fixed with a top knot.
Now I put two screws. Now we will fix up the rod here on the sides and then put the top screw up. It's one of the most elegant technique in the world which is available and uh, Magal techniques are extremely good. It's got to fixation so you can fix up to many levels up to here. All sub-axis of the spine, C3, C4, C5, C6, and C7, and C2. It's totally different technique we will see in the next edition. I'll show you this. The screws which are coming in front, if you carefully watch, the screws make, make an angulation like this, very parallel to this, face the joints. Another screw is reasonably in this way, but it's okay. I can see here, and none of the screws are damaging anything. You can see here, in the safe quadrant here, and here also. So, so, so the nerves and neurovascular bundles are not at all affected.